Um, James, you've spoken so much about your challenges and, and on Idol. Uh, that mm-hmm. was a lot of your backstory, obviously, and so inspirational. Um, how difficult was it for you? Um, you talked about the fact that you were bullied mm-hmm. when you were, yeah. w- at what age were you bullied? Uh, every age. Every <laughs> age, okay. Yeah. How did you make that, jump that hurdle from uh, being in school and being bullied, and, mm-hmm. and at that time probably, you know, it was not, autism was not at all really as understood as it is now, mm-hmm. to becoming confident enough to, apply, to to compete on Idol, um, to become a father. Mm-hmm. Was that a process, or was there one kind of key philosophy you kept in your head? I don't remember exactly when it was. That's a great question. Though. <laughs> Thank you. It was a little long-winded. <laughs> no, it was great, though. Um, uh, it keeps this autistic brain of mine thinking and okay. working in, okay. in ways that I don't know how it does. Uh, but I, I think that I can't pin it to one specific exact moment that I can remember but at some point I started realizing that I'm not being bullied because of something that I lack I'm being bullied because there's something that I have that nobody else has if you turn there's you can turn a negative into a positive anyway and I think that at 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 that at whatever point it was that I just started telling myself that that this is all happening to me for a reason Mm -hmm. and I've figured it out because it makes me stronger and for whatever reason that I need to be stronger in my life than the people that are doing the picking and the bullying and the pestering and everything and the throwing bottles and rocks and and everything like it was it was it wasn't uh, fun. <laughs> it, de- it definitely wasn't fun. Um, I can only did somebody imagine. help you to figure that out, though, James, or did you come to that all on your own? I think I just came to it on my own at some point. It, it was it was high school, uh, and then I just I just realized I'm not. If people don't like me for who I am. I don't need to change for other people. It's such a profound, you know, insight. And usually, people bully what they don't know. Exactly. So at that point, <laughs> to kind of cope with it, I, I guess I developed a higher, um, or more uh, condensed version of my personality Mm -hmm. and kind of turned it up to 11 (laughs) at that point. And (laughs) instead of just being James, the guy that walks through the hallways and and gets, you know, water bottles thrown at his head for no reason, just because he's different, makes faces and and stuff, um, I became crazy James. (laughs) And instead, if someone wanted to throw a bottle at my head, you know, I'd turn around and I'd be like, I mean, I, I wouldn't turn it into confrontation, but somehow, like, in, in a way that a comedian does. Mm-hmm. A comedian takes what they're given by other people and turns it back on them and says, like, you're trying to put negative energy at me, but I can find a positive in it. Yeah. <laughs> How about the fact that they all peaked in high school and you're on American Idol? I say that, too. I say that, too. Yeah, exactly. that's a pretty good, you know, living right. well is the best revenge.